there are a lot of shitty things happening in this world and even if you feel like you are not influential enough to make a difference or put a stop to anything one thing that will always 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 be beneficial is educating yourself i'm gonna make um tangulo. um i made it twice last night and it turned out really good like my sister she was visiting and um she made it with strawberries and grapes and she made more that same night and i woke up the next morning and was literally sobbing in pain um my stomach hurt so much so i did not go to school but uh, my stomach did not hurt so bad that i couldn't get chipotle which was delicious i don't have grapes or strawberries but i was very much in the mood for just like some sort of fruit and i was like oh my god my mom brought apples and i was like Tagu sounds so good and I was watching super bad and it was really funny so it came out perfect the first time I did it and then I made more like a couple hours later so my brother could have some and it was really chewy so I don't think I let the sugar get hot enough so we're gonna retry the sugar to water ratio needs to be two to one I think so if I use like one cup of sugar I've got to use one half cup of water the Academy Awards was so fun to watch. Emma Stone won Best Actress. <laughs> Poor things was so good. We don't have a lot of sugar left, so I might um, make this all one stick. But Poor Things was so beautiful. The cinematography was absolutely insane. It was such a unique concept, and I don't know, it was just very very interesting and i liked it very much and it didn't feel male gazy at all that was something um that i saw a lot of people talking about on tiktok how it felt a little male gazy but i didn't feel that at all like the entirety of the film i understand when films like have a male director and writer it can feel that way but i don't know everyone perceives art differently so i also watch lately anyone but you TikTok did that dirty. I actually really enjoyed it. It was funny. It's a rom-com. It's supposed to be stupid and cheesy. Sure, there were some parts that were like, okay, but overall, I think I gave it three and a half stars. Um, TikTok made it seem much worse than it actually was. I am very much, I've always like considered myself not a rom-com person, but that's only because I associated rom-coms with the ones I didn't like instead of the ones I absolutely love, like Pretty Woman um so but i do really really love a good 90s 80s rom-com can't buy me love um pretty in pink um i watch i watched madam webb the other night <laughs> tiktok i need to like stay off of tiktok before i watch a film um madam webb i saw like obviously everyone saw it on tiktok like people make fun of it uh the first like 45 minutes i actually really enjoyed it like it was making me laugh or parts that were supposed to be funny it was an interesting plot i was like okay i'm into this about halfway through i was like okay and then the last like 20 minutes i was like this is not for me probably won't watch it I'm actually i feel like i would watch it again though just to like see if i like it more so i'm just gonna wait for it to boil and then i will stick these in there I'm gonna eat this, watch Madame Web, and then eat some chili, and then maybe do my homework. I don't know yet. I don't remember who it was, but I vividly remember someone telling me, somebody in this world telling me that I'm gonna love high school, it's gonna be the time of my life. I hope you step in gum because you are a liar, and I've never wanted to die more. This is all from colleges. I have no interest in going to school in the state I live in. I'm a military kid, both my parents are retired. Um, but we've only lived in like three states and then we lived in Japan for a couple years, um, which is very annoying because what's the point of being in the military if we're not going to travel? I mean, fight for your country, but like, where are my benefits besides a military discount at the mall? I want to go to Savannah College of Art and Design. This entire school year, I have like changed what I'm going to major in about 20,000 times. I was like, oh my god, I should double major in astronomy and psychology because i actually have loved um, astronomy since i was little i love anything to do with outer space and 
I think being an astrobiologist or a planetary scientist would just be one of the coolest things in the world. But like I was saying, I want to go to SCAD and I want to major in filmmaking, obviously. And I think I want to minor in either cinematography or acting for the screen because alongside being a filmmaker, I've always wanted to be an actress. And cinematography is one of the most beautiful things in art ever. And it is so enchanting and... Um, I really, really want to be a part of that. I want to be a part of every aspect of filmmaking ever and just want to learn as much as I can. But, you know, you don't have to go to school to do that. As much as I, when I found SCAD, I absolutely fell in love with it and I want to go to that school so bad. But also, college is not what, something I 100% see myself doing and there's nothing wrong with that. There are a billion self-taught filmmakers. My favorite filmmakers are self-taught filmmakers. Wes Anderson is self-taught. But yeah, college um, isn't really something I 110% see in my future. And if that's not something you 110% see in your future, there is nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with not going to college. School is not for me. It's never really been my thing. But since it is an art school um, and I will be spending all of my time doing something, well, not all of my time, but majority of my time doing something that I really love, then um, I'm like giving it a shot. It's I'm, I'm really going back and forth. Yeah, it is something I'm interested in, but... If I don't go to college, I don't think a large majority of me would regret it. Going to college does not equal success, and I hate that that has been drilled into our minds. I have always been hearing how junior year is the most important year of your high school career, and so far that is pretty accurate for me, for me, personal experience. Um, if you are loving your junior year, if you loved your junior year, then I am so happy for you. I would not wish any emotions I am feeling on anyone because <laughs> I am not having fun. I really do love my teachers though. School has never been a healthy environment for me, but I really, really love my school that I'm going to right now because of my teachers. All of them are incredible or are very patient with me. The people are okay. I haven't really found anyone i haven't really found like my people yet there are some kids in my engineering class they gave me ap engineering there are some kids in my engineering class that i'm vibing with um but i feel like i have trouble keeping friendships and it's very frustrating because i very much believe in the universe and like spirit guides everything happens for a reason divine timing and i feel like the universe is bringing people into my life and they're not meant to stay and it's very hard because I've always been a really shy kid and it's it hasn't been easy for me to make friendships and now I feel like it's difficult for me to keep them 